Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market update dated the 31st of August, 2023. The market again witnessed last hour profit booking, which erased all the intraday gains, and also broke its three-day winning run on August 31st in the volatile session amid the August F&O expiry. At close, the Sensex was down 255.84 points, or 0.39% at 64,831.41, and the Nifty was down 93.70 points, or 0.48% at 19,253.80. The biggest losers on the Nifty included Adani Enterprises, BPCL, and Adani Ports, while gainers were Moruti Suzuki, Sipla, and HDFC Life. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of Moriti Suzuki India Limited darted up over 2% to 10,043 rupees on August 31st, the highest since its listing, ahead of the release of monthly sales figures. Investors also cheered global brokerage JP Morgan's analysis that placed India's leading automobile manufacturer on the positive catalyst watch. As many as 8 lakh shares changed hands which is above the 5 lakh month average. Shares of Nazara Technologies Limited jumped over 4% on August 31, after the company said it is considering raising funds by issuing equity shares on a preferential basis. In accordance with the company's act, the gaming company said in an exchange filing on August 30. This is the second time in two months that the company has opted to raise capital. In July, the company decided to raise funds through the issue of equity shares. The board of directors approved raising its authorized share capital from 30 rupees to 50 rupees crore. Gallant Ipat shares were trading 6% higher on August 31, after the company announced having received one out of the two railway rakes purchased from the East Coast Railway. The steelmaker on July 9 said it ordered two rakes worth 55 rupees crore to tide over the shortfall of rail wagons at its disposal. The purchase is expected to ease the logistics of transferring iron ores from the point of origin to the company's steel manufacturing facility. Further, this purchase is expected to save 25% of the freight costs incurred by the company, it had said. Shares of Prudent Corporate Advisory Services tumbled over 9% on August 31, after shares worth 420 rupees crore changed hands in a block deal. Total of 37 lakh shares, representing 9% equity capital changed hands at 1,129.50 rupees per share. The buyers and sellers involved in the transaction could not be immediately identified. Last month, Prudent Corporate Advisory Services reported a 45% YOY growth in net profit at 28.1 rupees. Crawl for quarter 1 financial year 2024. Shares of MedPlus Health plunged nearly 8% in the early trade on August 31 after a block deal involving a 12.8% stake, worth 1,319 rupees crore, took place on the bourses. Around 1.5 crore shares changed hands at an average of 860 rupees apiece, which is at a 3.5% discount to the closing price of 891.10 rupees the previous day. The bumper listing gains of Aeroflex Industries, which manufactures environment-friendly metallic flexible flow solution products left analysts mixed on its future outlook. Some analysts see more gains in the counter while others believe that the valuations have already caught up. The Ashish Kacholia-backed company made an impressive debut on the bourses, listing at 82.78% premium over the issue price of 108 rupees. The stock started trading at 197.40 rupees on the BSE and 190 rupees on the NSE. However, since then, the stock has seen selling pressure and traded at 168.15 rupees, down 15% from listing price. Manograph Industries Limited in daily time frame is trading around 27.05 points with a change of 19.96% and is trading with a net volume of around 1.151 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 22.30 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 72.61. HLV Limited in daily time frame is trading around 15.90 points with a change of 17.34%, and is trading with a net volume of around 11.737 million shares. 
the share price is trading above its moving average 14.10 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 73.63. Northeastern Carrying Corporation Limited in daily time frame is trading around 22.60 points with a change of 15.01% and is trading with a net volume of around 2.223 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 20.05 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 78.15. For stocks to watch, we have Divi's lab looks good on current market price of 35.88. It can be bought at 35.90 rupees, keeping target of 3,678 rupees with stop loss of 30.505. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.